So today I'm going to show you guys how to decide which camera is right for the job. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming uh, for this interview today. Um, my secretary told me that you had to travel quite a distance and uh, well, it's not uh, easy to travel these days, is it? So um, yeah, we really do appreciate you coming down today. Um, you have a very unique name, by the way. Go, go to, a bit like Goku. Very unique name, never heard it before. Though we did have someone in earlier by the name of Go. Uh, looked a bit like your older brother, to be honest. Um, are you guys related or no? Fair enough. All right. Um, now, as you know, we're trying to find someone to fill the position of B cam slash action camera. There's a stiff competition, and uh, well, we've had a, a lot of new applicants lately. Um, however, your resume is pretty impressive, and I'm gonna be honest with you. We're basically deciding between yourself and Go, your uh, between quotes older brother. Um, but you are demanding quite a bit more money and we were wondering how you would justify that expense. Okay. So compared to Go, you're promising us to work remotely, um, higher video quality and longer recording times. All right, I'm impressed. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna be offering you the part. Welcome to the team. No, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, we really appreciated you coming all this way for this interview and we were very impressed to be honest with your resume. So um, yeah, can't, uh, can't wait to start working with you. We'll, uh, we'll see you Monday morning. So let's welcome to the team the Insta360 GO 2. So yeah, I was in the market for a for an action cam for quite some time, both considering uh, a GoPro as well as the DJI Osmo Action. However, I was never really sold on those type of action cams. Um, I had considered the original Insta360 Go as well, but that one had recording times that were just a little bit too limiting. And then recently, Insta360 um, released the Go 2, and that one kind of fixed all those problems. The reason why I find the Insta360 GO 2 system so appealing is, to be honest, the convenience. You get a few accessories, including this little magnet clip, which you can just hang around your neck or underneath your clothes. And then you can just attach it like that. You don't need to buy a chest mount, a chesty, whatever you want to call it. It's just as easy as that. Now they also give you another accessory, which is this one they call, I think, the pivot stand, which you can either hold in your hands or you can uh, attach it underneath. So it has like a sticky surface underneath there. And um, yeah, that's a very convenient accessory as well. The last one is the one that's why I'm wearing this hat at the moment. It's a, let's see, it's a hat mount, which is super convenient. This really gives you kind of like an FPV first person view perspective, which I really like. And yeah, it's super convenient, super, super easy to use. Doesn't take up a lot of space. I actually use this little Nanlite pouch, which I wasn't using for my Nanlite lights. And uh, I'm gonna be using this to carry basically my whole Insta360 go-to setup. Um, now the last thing that I want to show you is the, the charging case that comes with it, which is this one. So you can basically just put the go-to in there. Everything is magnetic and just clicks in place. But this thing is also a remote. So this thing charges your camera, but you can also, as soon as you take it out, don't want to drop it, it's tiny. So as soon as you take it out, you can press to connect and there you go, it's connected already. And uh, now you can basically just use this as a remote. It's, it's super convenient. They really thought very, very well about this product. And there's only one thing that I kind of wish that it had. 
I think if GoTo had an, uh, like a 3.5 millimeter jack for audio input, that would have been perfect and then I would have had no wishes left to, to wish for. But to be honest, we can't complain. This, this product, product is just really complete, I think. And uh, I can't wait to start using it. So yeah, stay tuned for some new content and uh, I'm gonna be trying to incorporate this little camera into my next videos. I'll see you guys next time.